Life sciences is really about understanding how life works and then if we want to understand organisms, trees, animals, it all comes down to the workings of the cells. My name is Eva Paluch. I'm a group leader and a professor here at the MRCLMCB at UCL in London. And I'm currently in the process of moving my lab from UCL to the University of Cambridge. What we're trying to understand is how cells move and how they change shape. Every cell is under pressure at its surface, and what that means is that whenever there's a weakness in the cell surface, you're going to get something like this. You're going to have a protrusion forming, which can be used for moving around, for dividing, for doing all kinds of physiological processes, and that's what blebs are. For many years, it's been thought that these were a sign of cell death, of cell being exposed to toxic environments. One thing we have shown in the lab is that these spherical protrusions are actually quite often completely healthy, and cells can use this to move around, for instance, and many cells migrating use this type of protrusions to propel themselves forward. Cells don't know the difference between physics and biology. They have evolved in a physical world. What we do in the lab is we really combine approaches from physics, engineering, quantitative imaging, and biology. One key feature of a cancer undergoing metastasis is that the cells from the primary tumor undergo uncontrolled migration, so they move around the body much more than they should, and they get to other places and start other tumors in these other places. If we understand how cells generate forces, then maybe we can develop better ways to change these forces when they are not exerted in an appropriate manner and possibly cure diseases which involve problems related to cell movement or cell division. There's increasing evidence that if you affect shape, if you affect mechanics, you can change the fate decisions a cell might undertake. What we're trying to do is develop tools to really address this question of what's the crosstalk between mechanics, shape and fate during development. Since my father died, I've kept a picture of him in my office, of him climbing up a mountain. When I think of him, what comes to my mind is like the way is up. You have to keep going, you have to keep trying to answer the questions you want to answer. And you shouldn't rest until you get there. And also, the way is beautiful. And look around. And it's not about finding something, it's about trying to understand something. And that's what's exciting about science.